Cesar Chavez, the official introductions from our ring announcer, the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix, Arizona for the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Vlad Wharton's Millennium Events in association with Don King Productions, Showtime Championship Boxing and Corona La Cerveza Mas Fina. This bout coming away, ladies and gentlemen, is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman, Supervisor Mario Latraverse, along with the Arizona State Boxing Commission, the Chairman Michael Preston Green, Commissioners Sally Garza Fernandez and Patrick McGroder. Executive Director is John Montano. Introducing to you our three judges, scoring the bout from ringside from West Covina, California, Marty Denkin. From Buena Park, California, Chuck Hassett. And from Tucson, Arizona, Gerald Maltz. And the referee in charge of this bout, working in this his 27th world title bout, Bobby Ferrara. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from Phoenix, it's showtime! Introducing to you first, ladies and gentlemen, on my right, the challenger fighting out of the blue corner, proudly wearing the colors of his home country, green, white, and red, and hailing from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in at the super lightweight limit of 140 pounds. He enters the ring with a true legends record of 103 wins, four losses, two draws, with 86 wins coming by way of knockout. Currently ranked the WBC number one super lightweight contender. Here is the six-time world champion. Please welcome El Gran Campeón Mexicano. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent across the ring is the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with gold lettering, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, by way of Serov, Russia. He weighed in at a ready 139 and one half pounds with a record of 24 wins, one loss and one draw. He has 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBF world champion and the current WBC super lightweight champion of the world, introducing Kostya Su. Once again, a referee in charge, Bobby Ferrara, now to give instructions. Gentlemen, you've been given the instructions earlier in the day. I expect a clean fight from both of you. Your trunks are in great shape. No punching on the trunks. Okay? Protect yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Go back and wait for the bell. Extremely emotional, nationalistic environment here in the arena. Zoo's typical M.O. Go for the early knockout. He'll test his opponent's heart and chin almost immediately. He's mean and strong, hits hard, and straight ahead. Even in his prime, Chavez, a notoriously slow starter, at his best, a debilitating puncher, relentlessly and ferociously attacks the body and through punches and fast, accurate combinations. So here we go, round one. It's scheduled for 12 for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship. Costa Zou, the champion of the black. Julio Cesar Chavez in the colors of the Mexican flag. Green, red, and white. These first two rounds are key. Chavez cannot fight going backwards. He's not a boxer, an outside slip mover. He cannot allow Chavez to, to excuse me, Zou, to bully him around. If Chavez is going to have any chance, he has to be coming forward. Will Chavez resort to old tricks? If things get out of hand, if he's looking for a way out, headbutting, inducing cuts to end the fight and try to get a technical decision, or will he go all out, try his best to win fair and square as Costa Zou misses with the overhand round? It's a nice jab by Chavez to the court. Zou right square in the face. Zou unable to counter effectively. 
And while Chavez typically is a slow starter, Zhu thought that Chavez would start fast tonight. He says Chavez is in good condition, but he can't go 12. He's also looking to make a big statement, that's for sure. But Zhu said he'll put pressure on for the start. Be busy, allow no rest for Chavez. Go to the body, not the head, since we all know Chavez's head is like a rock. But it's a hit like a rock, but a rock that splits once in a while because Chavez does have a lot of cut problems around the eye. I predict there will be a cut somewhere within the first five rounds. And interesting, Zhu is known as a head hunter, but he said he would concentrate on the body against Chavez. Yeah, he thought that the body would clearly be the definitive difference with an older fighter. He'd be more vulnerable there. The crowd immediately getting behind the challenge of Chavez. A wild right hand missing by Chavez. Yeah, a lot of people thought that after the Willie Wise, the pathetic performance against Willie Wise, that Chavez should be 100 to 1 underdog. I and mean, that's really not the case. He didn't train for that fight. I know that. And I knew he would come in here. If he's going to go out, he would probably like to go out on his shield. Miguel and Hill Gonzalez did. I don't know if Chavez can. Straight right hand that nailed Costa Zou, left side. There's a good straight right by Costa Zou. Right on the head of Chavez. Let's see if Zhu says what, does what he said he'll do and go to the body. Chavez was always deceivingly strong as he would come in and would deflect punches and dig in with heavy hands to his fighters, his opponents' bodies and chins. Now it's a reverse situation to a degree. Those debilitating left hooks to the liver by Chavez. That's vintage Chavez. Final seconds, round one. Little pressure there by Zhu, but then he lets up. Left hand that caught Zhu on the front of the face. Every little thing that Chavez does will get a reaction from the crowd, even if it's just a grazing blow. Our interpreter is Jean Roland when we get into the Chavez corner. Throw the jab, throw the jab, and get in there, throw the jab, move around. Okay, vámonos, let's go. Romulo Corate in the corner. Zeus said, I know Chavez trained hard for this, he's ready. Zhu watched a lot of tapes of Vinny Chavez versus Roger Mayweather versus De La Hoya to see the difference. Zhu says he's ready. He trained 172 rounds against Mexicans, middleweights, and super middleweights. Well, I'll tell you what, I use the Rosario tape too because that's what Chavez is going to need to do. Go back to vintage come Chavez. On, come on, Zhu prepared the for the right Chavez, although that one on may not head. be able to show up. And Zhu, an intelligent fighter. He's trying to hold set up the right hold, with the hold. left jab, Zhu. Zhu hand landed a nice right hand off the temple of Chavez. Chavez coming on the inside will get a little dirty. He'll give you a forearm, a little elbow, a little shoulder. He knows the tricks of the trade. Been around far too long. Zhu continues to stick the jab. Let's see if he can follow it up with a right. Crowd certainly seemed happy with the results from round one. Chavez landed a couple of glancing blows. Nothing great. The so more solid punches were landed by Zhu. The constant jabbing here by Zhu. Chavez looking for one or two big shots, but he doesn't have what he wants had. He needs to work. Nice left hook by Zhu. See now also Zhu is the effective aggressor. Chavez not being effective. Come on, 
on a retreat. He cannot fight going backwards, Steve. And the referee, Bobby Ferreira, out of Tucson, quickly getting in because he knows the history of cutting. By Chavez. Every time those heads come together, Ferreira tries to get in quickly. You hate to see this thing end in that fashion with an accidental headbutt. Good stiff left jab there by Chavez. Well, his corner said to him to jab, jab his way in. A few times he's leaping in with the hook to the body or the hook to the head. He needs to work in behind the jab. The chance of Mexico, Mexico. Good jab in the head, Costa. Come on, break it up. Come on. We approach the final 20 seconds of round two. Chavez off balance. That punch was blocked by Zhu. There's a good straight left jab again by Chavez. So far, Chavez has had one right hand he landed in the first round. Other than that, his jab has been his most effective weapon, yet he's not using it that much. Again, every time Chavez throws anything, the crowd goes wild. An interested spectator is Boris Tsu, the father of Kostya, who worked in the Russian steel mills for over three decades and came to Australia with his son and the rest of the family. That's right, good day. Chavez doing one of those things he does. As they get inside, you'll see that little elbow. He likes to throw the elbows, he likes to throw the forearms. He'll stick them in there. There it is, a little push in the face, a little form with the glove lacing. Chavez will do what he can. Here you see a little head action and a little hitting. Eh, not really that illegal with the jaw there, but that head. You can see him dragging it across Kostya's face, getting sneaky. Zhu told us if things do get out of hand and Chavez starts pulling that crazy stuff. He said, I'm a clean fighter. I'll ignore it. I'll be smart. I follow the rules. That's the problem with boxing. Too many guys break the rules. Costa Zoo. Chavez is coming forward in this round. Made a point of coming out and coming forward. Let's see if he can keep hold it up. It, hold it, hold it, hold Being picked hold up there by Costa. Chavez in the past able to take off a round from time to time. But with Zhu, that's not going to happen. He can't afford to do that because of the pressure that Zhu puts on. And you wonder if, if Chavez at 38 and all the ring rolls and all the battles can hang in. You see Chavez too getting a little anxious to get inside, leaping in, jumping in, trying to crowd Zhu like right, he is hold there. It, hold it. I got it. Hold, 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 hold. Does not want to be in the tail end of Zhu's punches from the outside. Zhu with a much better power ratio. Zhu is starting to connect more with that left uppercut to the body. He's starting to get through and take its toll on Chavez. Now a right left combination to the head by Sue. Sue is starting to land with more regularity. That left off the hook off the top of Chavez's head. Overhand right, but a bracing blow by Chavez. Chavez is also leaving with his head quite oh, a bit, Steve. Hold it. Watch it, Julio. Get back your head. Watch those rapid punches, says referee Bobby Ferrara to Chavez hitting on the back of the head. I think that might be the first time I've ever seen Chavez apologize for something. I'm in shock. Chavez has been down only once in his career. That was in the first fight with Frankie Randall. His first defeat after 87 straight wins. His first on the record defeat. I thought Bernard Whitaker yes. clearly beat him. It was called a draw, but most people thought Whitaker won. That was at the Alamo Dome in San Antonio. Chavez just complained about a headbutt too. And he's the one coming in with his head down. I don't know what he's complaining about. Hit him very low. Warning, low Way low. south of the border. You got me? Are you Chavez okay? looks exhausted. Are you okay? He looks very okay, fatigued. First warning. Fox. And that could really become a factor here. It's extremely hot. He may not, he's not in the kind of shape he would uh, be as vintage Chavez naturally. Keep him up. The, weight, how, the factor is a weight also. See how easily Sue just pushes him off. Well, he's used to fighting at a higher weight, 
He had to come down to 140. He hasn't been a 140 no, since it, March of 98 it, against Miguel Angel Gonzalez. Got and that's got to be a, a fact. He doesn't look as strong as we've seen in the past. Oh, he just pushed into the ropes. Wow. Let's bring Zab Judah in right now, the IBF Junior Welterweight Champion. What do you think so far through the first part of the fight? I don't know, Steve. Uh, I see uh, Chavez on the weekend right now. And, um, you know, earlier, both of the guys came at each other strong and competitive, but um, Kazuzu looks like he's, um, like, like he's kicking up now. You know, none of these guys are using a jab, so that, that's what's making the fight so hard. If these guys were boxing, it would be a much more easier fight. Do you think that uh, Chavez seems very tired right very, now? Very, very, very. He looked very fatigued, and he looked like he almost out of it. You know, if Kazuzu doubled up on the jab, bring that right hand, I think it would be a short night. All right, the words of Zab Judah, who could wind up facing Kostya Zoo in the near future. Johnny Lewis, who trained former world champion Jeff Fennick. And Chavez with a very worried look on his face as we enter round number four. Steve, I agree with Zab Judah. Double jab in the right hand, and maybe even another jab right hand behind that. And I think that we have a much shorter night than we're in for at this pace. So going with the jab. Chavez is not a mover. He doesn't have the legs at his age, and he never had that type of style. Hold it, hold to, to make yeah, that, that type of adjustment and box from the outside for 12 rounds against this strong young champion is not possible. And Zou looking very confident right now. Just walked into a straight left. But he's got a good chin. He goes flying down on Chavez. Over the hip of Zou. And Zou getting it from referee Bobby Ferreira and the crowd. Come on. You think that was intentional? On, no, it really wasn't. Uh, Chavez kind of lunged at him, and they got stuck. And all Zoo did was actually spin, but you know, maybe there was a little spin with the intention to floor. <laughs> Chavez is going flying, whirling to the canvas. That left jab by Zoo continues to be effective. Very annoying. Again, Chavez right, is going low. Come on. A couple of fights ago, we saw Kostya Zou systematically break down and destroy a younger, stronger Miguel Angel Gonzalez. I think we're in store for something similar here tonight. That was a punishing fight. He's slowly, round by round, picking up the pace, picking up the pressure, throwing more punches, reaching the body and the chin. Right now, Zou is fighting like Chavez used to fight. Exactly. A Search and destroy, point. head and body, accumulation factor. Yep. And it continues here in round right, four for two. Zoo in control. The crowd trying to urge Chavez on, but it's not helping. All right, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, come on. Chavez is also a master at tying people up. He ties Zoo up when Zoo gets any inside. Zoo doesn't have room to move those arms. And a nifty sequence there by Costa Zoo, the champion. Big right hand, two of them. That hurt Chavez. Zou landing repeatedly with the right here in round four. Right hand to the body, Steve, right here, right down the middle. Might be perfect for Costa Zou. But as we hold, talked hold. about, he's not seeing right, and making the adjustments second immediately. Warning. Low floor. Another second low blow by Chavez. Second warning from Bobby Ferreira. One more. He'll get a point taken away. Zou picking up the pace. Come on, get out. Come on, get out. It must be so frustrating for a fighter as great oh, as he oh. used to be to not be able to do what he knows his mind wants his body to do. The timing and reflexes just not there. Take a look at the slip slash fling to the floor. 
Chavez comes in, and you'll see Kasia Zou. They kind of lean into each other, and as Kasia spins, Chavez is hooked, trips over his leg. Wasn't a vicious, deliberate swing, though. Kasia Zou later on landing some combinations, keeping the pressure on, keeping Chavez's back to the ropes, working the body, working the head, stuffing the jab, just making him pay physically. Often as possible. And wrestling a takedown is worth two points here. It almost cost Kasia Zou one. Zou told us he'd throw more body shots, but he's still doing head hunting. In round four, he threw only five body shots. Four of them landed. It's round five. Chavez looking like he's looking at a little bit of a hangout now. Is it all or nothing? That's a push, not a knockdown. Chavez usually has the leverage on most of his fighters, physically stronger, heavier hands. This time the situation is completely reversed. Yeah, one of the few times in the history of Julio Cesar Chavez, he's actually in the ring with somebody stronger than him. How frustrating this must be to Chavez. Chavez, but Ferrara and the referee looked at him, shook his head. He knew. Yep. He knew. He let it go. He let it go. So he got in town, peppering the head of Chavez and digging to the rim. Wicked left to watch the right hand. It's on its way. Two having his way now. No answers, no replies from Chavez. Chavez's bounce is so important because he's squared up. He's a bigger target. Everything is wrong. It's just fatigue and his brain not being able to translate to his body what it needs to do. And his body on top of that can't do it. And as you said, he just doesn't fight well going backwards. And the aggressive straight ahead style yeah, hold, of Costa Zoo is making him do it a lot. Oh, watch, watch the back of the head. I saw that. Now he First cautioned the Costa Zoo for hitting on the back of Chavez's head. Chavez trying left hooks, doubling up, but getting nowhere. They're blocked. But straight right there. Chavez is just missing so much in the way of speed and tenacity. I don't know how to train for this fight, but he doesn't even seem to be able to throw a lot of punches. And he's walking in with no defensive. I mean, he's just walking with his face hanging out there. No That's defensive right. skills left. Combinations to the head by Kostya Zou, landing repeatedly. with the uppercut there. We haven't seen much of that. There's another uppercut to the body with the left. Straight right now by Kostya Zou. What a round for Zou. Zou in dominant fashion. Let's go, Julio. Let's go. We came up there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Another low blow actually does show up here. Goes Chavez underneath. There's the right uppercut and the left. That's a combination south of the border. The referee sort of let that one slide. A little later on, Chavez eating the jab and a right hand right down the pipe. The same type of right hand that Frankie Randall used to drop Chavez. Left uppercut. Zoo hitting with everything. Chavez's defensive reflexes as well as his offensive reflexes are no longer what they need to be to even be competitive here tonight. A small cut is open on the far head of Chavez. Called by Bobby Ferreira, and One he's point. taken a point away for a low blow. One point. I wasn't sure if he blow. caught it. He did from Chavez. One point. Low blow. It's actually the fourth one, but he'll count now, it as the third. Now, Julio, you got to stop it. Time in. And he tells Chavez to stop it. 
Chavez does understand something. Sure, he understood that. Look and down goes Chavez for only the second time in his career. And again, the right hand, he's shown Four, that susceptibility. Five, six. Zoo is a much better seven, puncher than Frankie Randall. Eight, Even though Frankie Randall's a sharp puncher, Zoo has put him up. heavy hands. Uh, you all right? You sure? All right, come on. 25 seconds into round six came the knockdown. Chavez's oh. corner is up and standing on the apron asking him, do you want to continue? Do you want to continue? Is that important to say, is that enough or do you want to keep going? Big factor here, a long way to go in round six, over two minutes. Well, we'll see what kind of warrior he really is now. He's, Chavez hanging tough. He's getting ready to run on his shield and he is still swinging. Got you there with a smile. But it's Chavez coming forward. But it's Sue scoring. Another straight move right here. All over Chavez. Steps in and stops the fight. It's all over. Costa Zoo wins it. TKO. Round six. People started throwing things already. It's getting a little ugly now. And they're protecting Kostya Zou in the center of the ring. And things are flying down towards us. And our stage manager, Joel Farbstein, just got nailed to the head. You all right? He's all right. Things getting really out of hand now. The fans are very upset. Are we in Mexico City or Phoenix? Well, the fans are extremely upset at the, uh, the way things ended here. The referee stopping the fight, but justifiably, there's no question about that because Chavez was getting pummeled, Bobby. What did he have to do, die? Unbelievable. I mean, the Mexican fans are showing that they have absolutely no care for a fighter now. I thought they were- Not only did they cheer him on, but now they want him to die before he loses. Well, I thought they were a little more sophisticated than that. Apparently, some of them are not. I do believe most of them are, but there's always a few bad eggs in the crowd. So Kostya Zou wins it in convincing fashion and hopefully finally puts an end to the career, the illustrious career of Julio Cesar Chavez. That, it, it was a shutout, Steve. Every round was being banked, banked, banked. And this round with the point off as well as the knockdown, it was a minimum of 10-7 on its way to being 10-6 or clearly a stoppage, which we had. Well, Chavez clearly okay now after the uh, decisive victory by Costa Zoo. I would like to see Jose Suleiman justify that as being their number one contender. I don't care what he accomplished in his past. That was detrimental possibly to his health. All he could have gotten there was hurt. Sure, he got a payday, but at what risk? I think uh, it was all done for uh, political reasons. Uh, as you pointed out, there was an agenda. He's not ranked uh, by any other major boxing organization, only the WBC, and incredibly number one. Hey, come on, forget that. Wait, the other, we're out of here. Let's listen stop. as a point is deducted stop. from Chavez. Stop, 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 stop. Hold it, back up. Time. One point, low blow. That was actually the fourth low, low blow. blow. One point. But here comes the end, blow. the conclusion, perhaps to a career. It's a nice, clean right hand right in the temple eye area, and Chavez falls face first. There's a saying in boxing, usually when they fall face first, you don't have to count. He got up, but he was not in it. He was not ready to continue. You could see he was hurt. He's shaking his head. He's staring. I believe he's more humiliated than hurt, but both pertain. So one official knockdown. Chavez down for only the second time in his career. The first time was back in 1994 against Frankie Randall. Let's get it up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. for the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 30 seconds in round number six. Our referee in charge, Bobby Ferrara, stops the contest at the same time the corner steps in. The winner by way of technical knockout and still the WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Kostya Su.
So no surprise, Kostya Zhu, who headed for the dressing room quickly, Ladies retains his WBC super lightweight title at the expense of Julio Cesar Chavez. Let's get it up to Jim Gray. All right, thank you very much. Julio Cesar Chavez still in the ring with us here. Johnny will interpret. Julio, are you okay? Are you okay? ¿Cómo te sientes? No se pudo, mijo, no se pudo. Muy triste, le muy decepcionado, dile porque le fallé a Don King. I feel very sad, I failed Don King. How about his performance? Not many people thought he would be able to go for as long as he went. Is he upset or how does he feel about his performance? I gave the best that I could, but my body didn't have the strength. Is it difficult for him at this time because he was unable to respond the way he has for so many years in the ring? Yes, this is very true. Forgive me. Frustrating. I want to say I'm sorry to all the Latin people. Julio, you have been a tremendous champion. It looks like it's the time for me to retire. Is that definite? Will you retire or, or will you attempt this again? Definitely, I feel uh, it's time for me to retire. I just, it, it, I didn't have a problem making the weight. I just, I think it's time for me to leave. Julio, congratulations. You have been a tremendous champion. I'm sorry, Dan. It's all right, Julio. I love you, man. I love you. Don't worry about this. Okay, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Jim. Well, you heard it. Julio Cesar Chavez said he will retire. Let's hope he uh, sticks, sticks to his word. Let's